Casey Middlestad joining us here on a game day. It's Minnesota in on Hockey Fights Cancer Night, and uh, I have a feeling it's got a familiar vibe when you're facing off against Minnesota. I mean, the first guy I saw here today was Zach Bogosian, and we literally <laughs> just saw him a few days ago. And then there's there are lots of uh, saber connections, and of course your home state connections. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, Let me put this closer so they can hear you. Hey, perfect. Bro. I feel like I've watched the Wild uh, a billion times, obviously in my life. Um, so. You know, I know a lot of guys on the team, and I think a lot of them uh, stick around many year round. So, um, definitely a lot of familiar faces, and uh, you know, obviously, it's it's always fun to play your hometown team, and, and definitely gives you a little extra burst. Money on the board has always been something for years, but it used to be like a hundred dollars on the board. I don't want to know what the, the the going on rate is right now, but when you go up there and you put your name and you put a dollar amount. Um, what's the reaction in the room? We used to, like, some guys sometimes would go and put more money, make the guys feel bad about the amount that they put out there. Like, what's the reaction nowadays when you have to put money on the board? Uh, I'm guessing some things never change in, in that uh, <laughs> sense of it. So, um, you know, the good thing is, is I'm not the only Minnesota guy here. So uh, we're going to have quite a few up there tonight. And, um, yeah, maybe. I'm sure EJ or Oki will set the bar. That'll be a hard one for me to reach. So. <laughs> Um, uh, I think that's the right way I'll to go. Be, I don't think I'll be up with them, but uh, yeah, definitely a little money on the board for the boys. Tonight of course, the, sure. connect, the connections are deeper now. Even like you know, Ryan Johnson's been here, and of course the Golden Gopher connection, and yeah. Brock Faber on the other side, and of course your brothers are playing at University of Minnesota. So I just feel like it, it really is intertwined here. Um, what have you seen from Ryan uh, that you? I don't can't imagine there's anything you didn't know about him but how how would you assess what you've seen from him in a couple of games here yeah I think uh you know obviously I watched him quite a bit last year just watching my brothers just um and you know the thing that's really surprised me is obviously we all know how how good of a skater he is and he can fly around the ice but um you know he's been making really good plays with the puck I mean he stepped in last game played with Rass and, and played really well and you know that that's not an easy thing for for a young guy to do uh, especially early in your career so um, you know that that's been really impressive to me. I think we, like I said, we all we all know about the the skating ability and, and the way that he can move. But um, you know the way he's been moving the puck up and, and jumping in the rush, I think has has been really really impressive. And you know honestly, something I I maybe I didn't just didn't notice. I wasn't watching that closely, but I I didn't see much last year at Minnesota. So that that thing has been or that that side of it has been uh, really impressive for me. What's different for you this year? Because it seems like whoever Don Granado puts on your line. They perform well. Like you are driving your line. You're the catalyst in the middle of your line. So what's different in you, you think, that's allowing that for others around you and yourself to have that much offensive success? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know if it's anything, one thing in particular. I think more than anything, just, just getting a little older and uh, a little more mature, I think. Um, Are you getting faster as you're getting older? Is that uh, what's <laughs> happened? Like a Benjamin Button kind of reverse uh, happening? You're not uh, old now, but I'm just saying. Maybe. I mean, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> um, no, I guess more than anything, I feel like maybe the game has just slowed down a little bit. And, um, you know, I, I definitely feel feel comfortable and uh, feel feel probably the most comfortable I felt with the puck on my stick in my career so um, you know I think that goes a long way and um, you know I think last year was huge for me obviously there was some ups, ups and downs and then you know to come out on the other side of that and, and face a little adversity early and you know obviously I, I gotta give a ton of credit to Donnie just just let me play he never really got in my ear and, and just just kept letting me go and, and let me play so um, I think you learn on your own and, you know, you learn from your mistakes and try to keep moving forward. So uh, it's been a good start for sure. It's funny when you say it that way that, you know, he hasn't gotten in your ear, which, of course, implies, like, negative, right? Like, you got to do this, this, and this. What does he say to you, though, that is ultra positive that has – because he has been outwardly overly positive about you all along. And I'm wondering what those conversations are like when he has been trying to uplift behind the scenes. Yeah, you know, um, I think personally for me, like, um, I'm not really one that I don't think he needs to say too much to. I, I feel like I, I'm a hard worker, and, you know, I, I love hockey, and I want to be playing hockey for as long as I can. Um, so for me, more than anything, I think a good example of it is last year, you know, maybe in the in the depths of some darkness, um, he called me. All he said was, hey, we're going to get through it. It was probably a 30-second call, but, you know, things like that, they, they do go a long way, and... Um, 
you know, just little reminders and, and things like that more than anything from Donnie for me have, have really made uh, a huge difference. Not to focus on negatives, but we have discussed the power play a lot of Marty, late. I can't believe you're going there. I am going there because I want to bring a positive to the table is I have liked you in the bumper position. I think you're, you're, you have great hockey sense. You're smart. You know where to present your stick. Um, is that a place that you feel comfortable being in that middle of the ice? I know you're lefty, so it's different, but like Braden Point has done really well in the bumper. There's been TJ Oshie in the bumper. There's been like guys that have carved a, an identity on the power play. Is that a place that you would like to be and develop a bigger role? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, more than anything, you want to be on the ice, and especially you want to be on the ice with, with those guys. And um, I can't say I've played a ton of the bumper. I, I played there a little bit during that COVID year, but um, overall not too much. So it, I'm definitely learning a little bit on the fly. But, you know, I'm, I'm also comfortable in the middle of the ice. I, I play center. I've played a lot of center in my life, um, obviously. And um, well, usually that revolves around being in the middle of the ice. So it's, not, it's definitely not a place that I, I don't feel comfortable. I, I feel comfortable there. And you know, Tomer, Tomer obviously draws so much attention that I feel like there, there is opportunity for me to be had there and, and some space to find. Marty Baran, always asking the tough questions. I love it. Um, uh, who, who's I don't on, even have my computer open know, right now I to know. get the You don't feedback. need to because it's all up here. Uh, who's on your mind tonight for Hockey Fights Cancer Night? Um, I mean, we had Sophia out yesterday. I think that that will definitely be, be the first one. Um, you know, it was obviously – good to see just to have her out and, and have her family and see the smile on their faces i think that's that's definitely the, the main thing um you know personally i i guess I, I don't have too much myself in my life which i guess is definitely very very lucky mm -hmm. um but i think just overall we've, we've done so many of those hospital visits over to roswell and you know mm -hmm. just to see and more than anything, we just want those people to watch the game and, and know that, that we're with them and, um, you know, especially the, the kids and, and the families that are, are going through a tough time. When you guys go to Roswell or, or Oshai's Children's Hospital, every, like the kids all love you. You're like a big kid. And right now you got a busted tooth and you got the big hair and everything. Like, uh, do you feel like you're just a big kid when you go and, and have fun and throw the, 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 the snowball socks at each other or play video games, whatever it is? Do you, do you like that aspect that you're just being like a, an older brother or a sibling or a support system of, of sort? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, overall in my life, I, I feel quite a bit like a big kid. Um, so, yeah, I think that's, that's an easy role for me to play. Um, yeah, I, I mean it's awesome. Those, obviously, you come in, you see the smile on the on those kids' faces, and um, on top of that, even you go into rooms with with older people, and you know they've been watching the Sabres for 40 years, and yeah. and you know they're obviously in the hospital, and the Sabres game is what they're excited for. They're excited to watch the team, and um, yeah, it's definitely a little emotional that day, and it's it's hard, but at the same time, just to see the, the smiles on their faces and, and bring some light to, to maybe a dark place is, is definitely a, a huge honor. Well said. Continued success. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you, guys.